Is that good? Blue steel. Make, 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 make the ground shake. What's going on guys? Alex, Chris Martin here, and today I want to come at you real quick video and I want to talk to you guys about something that's really important to me, something that I've kind of struggled with in the past. I've had family members actually that I've struggled with too and that is muscular imbalances and that is something that's very serious when it comes to training because this really, really can go back to your joint health and this is something that's super important to take into account, take very seriously. So let's get started. So the biggest thing that I think stems from muscular imbalances is I actually believe it's our own fault as people who work out. We really, really enjoyed, enjoy training the the muscles that we see in the mirror, right? So your chest, your biceps, your your abs. But we don't like to train the ones that support those, the ones that are behind us that we don't see. And so we create these muscular imbalances. The personal experience that I had with this is when I was first trying to build up my chest, like I was really trying to put some size on it, I was benching three times a week. So my bench went through the roof. My bench was awesome. The issue I had was I was only hitting back twice a week. So I had all of this volume just nailing the front of my body, right? My chest, my anterior deltoids, my triceps, where I wasn't doing you know, nearly enough back volume or nearly enough pulling. And so what started to happen was the shoulders start to round, round forward, and it's like a string is pulling you forward. So if I were to show you guys from the side, if this is your normal posture, this is the way your posture should look, it began to develop like this. And if you actually look around, I promise you you'll see in the gym or just walking around day to day, you'll see people pulled forward like this. It's like there's a string right here and it's pulling them forward because they have these imbalances and so their scapula is like always protracted and they're always kind of like hunched over, almost kind of looking like they're always trying to flex or always look like super huge. So a good way to fix this is to really even out your volume or make sure that the lacking part has more volume. Um, if you have knee problems, shoulder problems, even elbow problems or hip problems, any kind of joint problem, this is something that I really, really think will help you out. Um, I know a lot of people that have knee problems, it goes to, you know, we don't have enough hamstring development. I had that shoulder issue because I didn't have nearly enough posterior, uh, posterior shoulder development, rhomboid development, and trap development. A really good way to know if you're kind of balanced out, if you're not very good at, you know, analyzing, looking at physiques, you know, is the opposite of the motion should be about even. So for example, uh, the one that they gave us when I was at my personal training school was a leg extension. If you can do a leg extension with 90 pounds, you should be able to do a leg curl with 90 pounds for the same amount of reps and sets. Obviously, there's gonna be some different varying factors like here and there, but for the most part, it should all be the same. So for example, when you do a bench press of 135 pounds for 10 reps, you should be able to do a barbell row of 135 pounds for 10 reps. Now, the slight difference here is, and this is something really important to keep in mind, is that with the barbell row, your erector spinae, your glutes, and your hamstrings are all firing, trying to keep you stable. Whereas when you're doing a flat bench, you don't have to worry about any of that. When you're doing the rows, you, you can give yourself a little bit of that leeway. You know that, okay, it's not gonna be 100% exact, but I can try to get close. So maybe like seven or eight reps, or maybe down the weight a little bit more and try to just really keep it clean and see if you can keep that pull even. So adjusting your volume, adjusting your training so that you really activate those muscles that may be lagging, I think can really help not only your joints, but it can help your posture too. As you guys saw the example I gave earlier, as soon as I started hitting the back more and more and more, started getting thicker and thicker, it definitely kept me more and more upright. So a really good way to think of this is for one muscle to flex, another has to stretch. So for example, when you're doing a bench press, your back is stretched. When you come down, 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 your chest is stretched and then it's, uh, your back is contracted. So as you press up, your chest becomes flexed and your back becomes stretched. And that's the part of the movement, that's the stretch, that's the flex. And so each muscle has to have that even proportion, that even volume. So something to keep in mind, if something is stretching, another thing is flexing. If something is flexing, another thing is stretching. So guys, this is something that's just really important to keep in mind, especially if you're having just joints like aches and pains and stuff like that. Something that's very important to keep in mind as well is your glutes and your abdominals and your lower back are also very important on this equation and your hip flexors as well. So make sure that if you're having any kind of hip issues that can also transfer down to your knee, that you're keeping those hips even as well with the glutes, the hip flexors, the abdominals and the lower back. Overall guys, the biggest takeaway I want you to have from this is just keeping longevity in the sport, making sure that you don't get injured, making sure you can keep progressing in the gym, you know, an injury and, a, and such a slow sport like natural bodybuilding or even powerlifting or just honestly anything where you have to be able to use your body can be a major, major setback and that's just not something that you wanna deal with. So I hope you guys were able to take away something from this video. I'm Alex Chris Martin and I guess I'll like see you in the gym or something, hopefully doing like 
I don't know, like leg curls, even to leg extensions and like bench equal to row and like, you know, just uh, just stuff like that. I'll see you guys in the next one.